Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Welcome to another Kids Connection, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. My name is Audrey Zorik, Director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church, and I'm so happy that you've joined us today on our online program. If this is your first time, we want to welcome you and hope that you come back. And if you are returned, we hope that you come back and keep watching our program every week. We're going to upload all these programs throughout the week and every Sabbath we're going to have a new program where teachers are going to come in and they're going to teach you lessons. Uh, we are going to sing new songs. We're going to have some fun together and hopefully you guys get to join us at your home. Mom and Dad, get ready. We're going to get you involved in our program today. And to get started, what better than singing our opening song? So I'm going to invite you guys, stand up where you are at home. I'm going to sing it here. You're going to sing it at home. Let's get our program Kids Connection started. Wasn't that an amazing song? I had fun singing it here, and I hope you had fun singing it home too. Now I'm going to invite you to close your eyes, bow your heads, so we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day. Thank you for this Sabbath where we come together online to worship your name. I ask your presence over this program now, over all the boys and girls, moms and dads, in Jesus' name, amen. Great, now we have some exciting things happening, but before we get to that, 
I'm going to invite you to watch this video. This is a new quarter and we're going to start sending our money in different parts of the world. Watch this video and see where our offerings are going to go this Saturday. And if you want to know how to donate, if you're watching us online, you can click on the link above here where it says click here to donate. Ask mom and dad to submit your offerings. And if you're watching us on Facebook, just go to our website, graceunconditional.com slash kidsconnection. And you're going to find this video there and also ways that you can donate. Watch the Kids Connection video for our missionary story. Adventists are getting noticed at one of Hungary's biggest music festivals. It's a little out of the ordinary, but offering to paint designs has attracted concertgoers to these local church members' booths. It's important to find something people will be excited about. Don't worry though, the paint is washable. They're also offering temporary hair coloring, lemonade, and of course, prayer. At events like this, church members have the opportunity to invite people to visit a nearby urban center of influence. Tunda Reeves came to this global mission urban center of influence in Mishkok, hoping for relief from her health issues. She was warmly greeted by the staff, and after some evaluation, they recommended lifestyle changes and natural treatments offered at the center. Over time, her health improved, and now she can't imagine what life would be like if she hadn't come here, not just for her physical health, but also mentally and socially. I actually developed friendships with the people working here. It's very important to have this kind of community. I learned a lot here, and it was such a community-building experience. Although these services are offered with no strings attached, Sometimes these interactions lead to more than just health improvements. Since I started coming here, I've applied to attend an Adventist health camp in the summer, and I've been taking Bible studies. An Adventist summer camp opens for a week each summer. People come from all over Hungary to make new friends and participate in outdoor activities. Most have heard about the camp through various urban centers of influence or from their Adventist friends. This is a lifestyle camp. We are doing a lifestyle evangelism. But it means uh, that we invite friends and people who are not in contact with Adventist Church. We have here about 200 people. Most of them are not Adventist people. And they are invited just because uh, we have hiking programs, we have cycling and different sports programs, and they are attracted uh, to this program. If we invite somebody to our local church, maybe nobody would come, at least in this part of the Europe. But if we invite them to participate in a program like this, they would like to come because they like to be healthy, they like to have new friends. And uh, in this way, this, this is a non threatening way of connect uh, with them and to connect them uh, with Jesus Christ and to the Adventist Church. The camp is a social place where people can bond together in nature. There are seminars and discussions about health and religious topics that attract many of the attendees. They're provided healthy meals that feature bread from the camp's bakery. At the end of the week, many people go home feeling inspired by the retreat, and some even decide to take Bible studies or volunteer at their local urban center of influence. For those who may not live near an urban center of influence, there is another solution. Hungarian church leaders in the Duna Conference want to meet people where they are, so they created a fully outfitted ministry caravan. After purchasing a van and trailer, Adventist professionals designed and renovated the interior of the trailer to be a modern mobile center of influence. The Duna Conference is made up of 54 churches, so each church has the opportunity to invite the van to their town for one weekend each year. The ministry is operated by volunteers who work closely with the local members who invited them to determine what type of program would be appreciated by the community. Usually, the van is parked in a central, prominent part of town. They offer health expos, children's programs, cooking classes, a Christian film club, and personal counseling. The programs of the Mobile Center of Influence have to be flexible to meet the changing needs of people in towns and cities. This van allows Adventists to connect with people in the community 
and develop a long-term relationship. Your prayers and giving to Global Mission have helped these ministries become a reality. Please continue to pray and consider what you can give to this cause. Thank you for supporting Global Mission. Now that was a great story. And I'm happy to know that people are so passionate in sharing Jesus in other areas of the world. Since I can't go there, we're gonna donate, clicking on the link above, or if you're on Facebook, go to our online, graceandconditional.com forward slash Kids Connection, and you're gonna find a link where you can donate to our missionaries as they continue to share the love of Jesus in other places of the world where we can't go. Now we come to a part of a program where we get to learn something fun. And you're going to participate at home, and we're going to participate in here. I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to share something with you that we've all seen it in different parts of the city, in different parts of the U.S., but everywhere we have these celebrations. They are called parades. What is a parade? A parade is when someone celebrates something to the point where they can't just sing songs, they can't just clap, but they do something extra. So they either dress up or they uh, get on carts, on floats, they decorate floats, and they go on the streets and they celebrate. It's a big celebration and we call those things a parade. We have different parades here in the U.S. We have the 4th of July parade. 4th of July is fun. Everyone is dressed up celebrating America. We have the Veterans Day parade. Veterans Day is where we celebrate the people that fought for our country. We also have Martha Luther King Jr. parade. It's where they celebrate the and they honor Martha Luther King Jr. We have other parades that maybe you don't know about. Something fun. They even have the Hot Balloon Parade. Whoa, look at that. Look at all those hot balloons up in the air. There are hundreds of them. And people have parades because they celebrate. All celebration. And here is a parade that you might know. The Disney Parade. Isn't it fun? to see all the Disney characters. Which one is your favorite? They dance around on Disneyland and they have a parade at the end of the day. Now, as you've seen, there are many different parades in our country, right? Now, did you know that people celebrate parades in different parts of the world too? That's right. They celebrate parades when the president gets elected they march around with band, music, and everyone salutes the new president. Oh, they also have parades of the army where people are saluting their captain or their a victory of, of a, a war that they won. There are many different parades in the world. But today, we are going to celebrate a parade. We're going to make a parade and we are celebrating Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath day. Today is Kids Connection, and you are going to have a parade with us. I'm going to ask you to go to the kitchen right now. Right now, I'm going to oh, oh, go to the kitchen, grab a wooden spoon and a pan, however you want to, or you can even grab the covers of the pans. I'm going to invite my daughters to come. Come, come over here. Come on up here. Here to be. Here we go. We're going to celebrate. We're going to be doing a parade here, and you're going to do be doing a parade at home. Let's celebrate Kids Connection and let's celebrate Sabbath. Are you ready to celebrate with us? Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's celebrate. Hey, hey Sabbath. Yeah, and it's Sabbath. Oh, night, night, Sabbath. This is awesome. We are celebrating. We are having our own parade here at Kids Connection. Are you having a parade at home too? Yes, that's nice. Whoa, let's celebrate. I love celebrating. I love the parade. 
yes, that's right, hey, how about we celebrate the parade with some confetti, yes, let's celebrate with the confetti, come on, whoa, let's have some fun, yay, celebration, celebration is up in the air, yay, celebration, whoo, this is awesome, this is awesome, okay, whoa, this is fun, wow, that was fun, wasn't it? Oh, I had fun. Did you have fun? Did you guys have fun at home too? Awesome. I hope you did. Whoa! I wish that you guys were here to have a big parade. Imagine all of us having a parade here in Kids Connection. How much fun we could have together. This is awesome. Mom and Dad, did you have some fun too? I hope so. Well, why are we having this fun? Because we are happy. We are happy that today is Sabbath. We are happy that we are celebrating, worshiping God with, with sound, with music, jumping around and having fun. And because we're in lockdown, you guys are having fun at home and we are having fun here. Now, why are we celebrating this parade? What does this have to do with our theme of the day? Well, guess what? The story that we're going to share today is somewhat a parade and you're going to continue to listen to the story today and you're going to learn something about a parade somewhere in the bible tells us about a parade someone walked in a city and it was a big celebration with confetti maybe not maybe not confetti but you know what they had they had palm tree leaves. <gasps> Do you know what it is? Well, listen to the story of today's lesson in your classroom right after Kids Connection. And you're going to be learning how, what story that was. But before we get to that, I'm going to invite you to stand up once again. And you're going to be singing our song of the day. We're going to be singing here. We're going to be having some fun, and you guys are going to have some fun at home too. Let's sing our song of the day together.
boys and girls. Come on in and we're happy that you've joined us on our online Sabbath school today. We're going to sing our greeting song, so go ahead and ring whatever instruments you have at your home. And let's get ready to sing good morning to you. Good morning to you. just like you do. What kind of things do you like to play? If you have brought a little toy with you, you can go ahead and play with that and toss it back and forth if it's a ball or play with your brother or sister while we sing Jesus was a child like you. Jesus was a child like you. smile. Can you give me your best smile? And take a look at this happy face. See if you can smile like that while we sing Jesus was a happy boy. Jesus was a happy boy, happy all day through. Happy, 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 I'll be happy too. Daniel in the lion's den. And when Jesus was a little boy, his mommy and daddy read to him from a Bible scroll, which is quite a bit different than our book. But if you have a Bible story, you can go ahead and look at it. And if not, you can just look at this one. and cousins and brothers and sisters. Now I'm going to put up some felt and you can sing the song with me. I love mother. Yes, I 
or a puppy or maybe a donkey or a sheep? Well, right now I would like you to go and get your favorite stuffed animal while we sing Little Jesus, Puppies and Kitties. Little Jesus like the little puppy dogs, the puppy dogs, the puppy dogs. Little Jesus like the little puppy dogs when he was a child. Little Jesus like the little kitty cats, the kitty cats, the kitty cats. was a little boy he had friends that he liked to take turns with maybe he liked to take turns running around and playing tag there's a lot of things he could have done but we're going to take turns with our wagon today and today some of our special friends are going to be riding in the wagon we have our friend bear and a monkey and a puppy and let's go ahead and sing our song <laughs> Jesus was a little boy he had to do chores around his house I think so I think that he had to help get water from the well maybe he had to roll up his sleeping mat so I want to know what kind of chores you do maybe you can pretend to do some chores while we sing our song I help mommy when she's cleaning I to grow up like Jesus. Why don't you join me in the song? Please watch the motions and do what I do. Please get down on the floor, get really tiny like you're a little baby while we sing our song, Growing Up Like Jesus. Growing up like Jesus, I will not stay. is here while we unroll the rug. Story time is here. couch at home or if you have a rug you can sit on the rug at home. Hi 
boys and girls. Have you ever been to a parade? Well, Lambkin and our friends are going to have a parade together. I would like to tell you a story about a time when Jesus was in a parade. He rode on a donkey. All the people thought he was going to be their new king and free them from the Roman soldiers. Let's find out what happened in that parade. One time, Jesus and his friends were walking down the road towards Jerusalem. He told his friends, the disciples, to go into town and bring him a donkey that they would find tied up there. If anyone asked them why they were taking the donkey, they should say, the master needs it. The disciples went into town and found the donkey just as Jesus said they would. They went to the donkey and they started to untie it. The people who lived in that house said, why are you taking that donkey? The disciples answered, the master has need of it. And then the people were willing that they would take the donkey. The disciples brought the donkey to Jesus, just as he had asked them to. They threw their coats on the donkey's back, and Jesus rode on the back of the donkey. There were many people there following him. They saw him riding on the donkey. They picked up the palm branches from the trees and started to throw them down on the pathway. They also took off their coats and threw them down on the road. When Jesus went into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, he was proclaiming himself king, but not the kind of king that the people were expecting. They wanted a kind of king that would free them from the Roman soldiers. But Jesus was saying that he was king of all the earth and that his kingdom would last forever. How do you feel when you learn that Jesus wants to be the king of your life, the king in your heart, because that's what he wants. He wants to be your king forever and ever. Remember, Jesus is not just king of one country or even of just this earth. He is the king of the universe. Now, boys and girls, we're going to learn our memory verse. And I would like you to see if you can learn the motions with me. We will be saying this for the next four weeks, so it's okay if you don't know it right now. Every knee will bow to King Jesus and declare that he is Christ the Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that comes from Philippians 2 verses 10 and 11. And if you have a Bible at home, Maybe mommy or daddy will look it up for you. Now we're going to learn what our craft is going to be this week. We're going to make a palm branch like the people in the story were waving. What you will need is a pair of scissors, a piece of green paper if you have it. If you don't, you can use whatever color you'd like. What you need to do first is fold it together like this and then take your scissors and cut the ends like this. Cut the other end. So now you have this. Then take your scissors and cut like this. But don't cut all the way to the center. Just cut a little bit. And then after that, you can take your palm branch 
and tape it to something. I've used an old ruler. You can use a stick, you can use a ruler if you have it, and then you can have your own parade and go around and wave your palm branches and say, Hosanna to the King. Thank you for listening, boys and girls. Bye.